Dharma Circle, hello, it's day three and step three of nervous system regulation and soul clarity. Every day this week, I'm coming into our Dharma Circle Facebook group and sharing one simple step with you to help you regulate your nervous system and also support you in clarity for your dharmic path, the purpose of your soul. Yes, they are related and we do need a regulated nervous system in order to support but also trust our innate gifts and inner intelligence, which is your dharma. It is the purpose of your soul and it does become your dharmic offering, that which you share in the world uh, from the light of your soul. So step three is all about honoring our grief. Yesterday in step two, I mentioned the ancestors and supporting you in building a deeper relationship with your ancestors because we cannot do our dharmic work in this world or even know what our dharma is if we are not honoring the gifts and the wisdom of our lineage and our ancestors. In that process... And in this process of being a human being on the planet, there is inevitably going to be grief that we encounter. I want to remind you that grief is normal. The body knows how to process grief. It is a very wise body. And grief is, in fact, normal. Most of us, and I would say the majority of the Western world, is completely averse to grief and grief work. And that's the issue, is that we're resistant and we, we have resistance to leaning into our grief, feeling grief in our body. But actually our body knows how to do this. The reason this is important is because when the body is clogged with undigested emotion, and let's just say you're 80% full of undigested emotion in your body, then you only have 20% room, space for feeling nourishment, receiving nourishment, joy, pleasure, abundance, creating what you really want and need, receiving your needs. So when we're not digesting the emotions properly, the body builds up with toxic, undigested emotion and it impacts our ability to receive, create, be nourished and well in our body. The important thing to remember is that the body physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually All of these layers of the body can experience grief. We also have collective grief. We have land, earth grief. We have ancestral grief. And all of these layers um, impact the body and how we live in our body. There's also unseen hidden grief, grief that we don't even know we have. And so I find the practice of grief work to be a lifelong process of curiosity and willingness. And this is about tending to the parts of ourselves that may be disappointed or have experienced loss. Sometimes these are big, traumatic losses. Other times they are smaller, um, seemingly insignificant losses. But when we don't honor the the losses of any kind in our life regularly and how the body feels as a result, then we get that undigested emotion that I mentioned. So this is what I consider, you know, grief work is like maintenance. We do this regularly. We do it consistently. We can um, be supported in this process uh, through the moon cycles. In fact, our body is naturally purging, releasing, and supporting the, the transformation of our grief very wisely um, through the cycles and rhythms of nature. And we just need to show up. We need to remember to show up. So I want to give you a very simple technique today. It's a technique that I use with my mentorship clients. We do this um, in our moon rituals regularly. 
We do this in grief ritual together as well. And it's a very simple somatic embodiment process. And I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to give you some of the steps right now. You can take this with you on your journey. And I've also taken this from module three in the Soul Circle mini course. Um, This is one of the steps that we do in that process to support you in transforming grief, making space in your body in order for you to step into your power and your purpose. So please join me in um, a little dive inward. Please take responsibility for your own well-being in this process. And you can do this with eyes open or eyes closed. I'm going to close my eyes. I find this helps me tune into what's happening in in my body more easily. But you decide what works for you. And as you move towards your body and bring awareness to your breath, I invite you to notice any sensations in your body. And I have my cat joining me here. (laughs) Noticing sensation in the body. Noticing sensation of breath. And when you're ready, shifting awareness to the emotional body, noticing any emotion arriving right now. Shifting awareness to the mental body, the imaginal thoughts, words, stories, ideas. Noticing any thoughts arriving right now in your body. Shifting awareness to the spiritual body. Noticing how spirit arrives for you in this moment. Gathering all of your bodies, all of your parts and pieces. Noticing the wholeness of your being. And bringing awareness to grief living in your body. So in this moment, noticing where your grief is living. We are not here to change it, make it different. Just bring presence to the grief that is here. Whether it's collective grief, ancestral grief, personal grief, acute grief, unconscious grief. Imagine you could find this grief living in your body. Where would it be right now? And with curiosity, leaning in to sensation, noticing any colors, images, or shapes. Maybe sounds or scents.
and ask this grief in your body to share a message with you. If this grief could speak, what would it say right now? And if your grief could share a need with you right now, what does it say that it needs? I invite you to place hands on this body part. Thank your body for sharing with you Thank your grief for sharing its wisdom with you. And when you're ready, gently opening your eyes, if they're closed. And you may want to write this wisdom down, any information that came through from your body or your grief in this check-in. Grief is very wise. Grief will always tell us what we need on a deep, embodied level. Listening to your grief regularly, consistently, getting curious what your grief is sharing with you and where it lives in your body is essential for not only deepening nourishment in body and life, but also creating a life that is in alignment with your soul and the purpose of your soul. Most of us forget or we don't even know that this grief is part of the path. It's not separate from. And what happens when we push it away, we negate it, we bypass, we numb, we avoid, we miss this deep wisdom that our body is trying to share with us. So this is a gentle invitation to be checking in with your body and particularly your grief regularly and getting curious about what it's sharing with you, this wisdom that it has to offer. Please share what you harvested from this check-in. I'd love to witness you in that process. So type into the comments, what did you harvest from this grief check-in? If you're curious and you're ready to clarify the purpose of your soul as well as get embodiment and somatic resources to regulate your nervous system, please join me in the Soul Circle mini course. I walk you through six simple steps to help you regulate your nervous system all while you are clarifying your path and your purpose because yes, we cannot separate body from our business or our gifts and wisdom in this world. It's all connected. I look forward to seeing you in the mini course. And of course, um, in this process, uh, I'm offering a very special lifetime membership for only $97, so it's a good time to jump in. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give you step four, and we are going to talk about your power your purpose and leadership. And I'll give you one more step, a simple tool for regulating your nervous system. And I'll look forward to seeing you then. All right, everyone take good care and be gentle with yourselves. Bye.